What's going on Repair Gang and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, it's gonna be a little different. So, I was over on Reddit the other day and I thought, you know what, a lot of people ask questions and some of them are actually really good video ideas. So what I'm gonna do is today I found, a, over on Reddit, I found a video about a snowblower that's only running on choke. This is a common problem for a lot of engines that aren't just snowblowers. We're only running on choke is a very simple fix, and I'm gonna teach you guys how to fix that today. But we're gonna go over there, look at the video, watch the video, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you guys, or not show you, I'm gonna tell you guys how to fix that. It should be a pretty simple fix. And looking at the machine, I might be able to put some carburetors if you have the same snowblower or something like it. I'll put some carburetors in the description. It could help support the channel at no extra cost to you if you guys ever wanna check out the links in the description. So without further ado, we're gonna pop over to Reddit. And then from there, we're gonna watch the video, come back, discuss. So as you guys seen, it started to surge a little bit. And then he cut it off a little early, but it was gonna die because it's getting way too much air. That's what they call running lean. Running lean means that it's getting way too much air and not enough gas. So a common problem, and this guy probably stored it right, he winterized it, did everything he should, but still it couldn't clog up. So what you gotta do is this can be fixed 99% of the time just by taking off the carburetor, either replacing it all together or just giving it a quick clean. Spraying in every single orifice you can see all through the carburetor, taking, you know, guitar wire, micro drill brits, a cut off little spring and cleaning inside everything, making sure everything's nice and clear and then using a can of air or a compressor. I prefer a compressor because you can get those nozzles that get in there pretty good. Once you get that all said and done, you put that carburetor back on, I promise you it's gonna fire up. It's not gonna be surging anymore. And if you check all your gaskets too, you wanna check your gaskets. It could also be if this carburetor has a fuel shutoff solenoid, you wanna make sure that that's going up and down. If not, you can clean it, replace it, or just snip it. I recommend just snipping it. It doesn't really matter. In my experience, machines backfiring is so rare <laughs> that it just doesn't happen. So you wanna clean your carburetor, you wanna check your gaskets, you wanna check your fuel shutoff solenoid if that's what you have. And then I promise you, it's gonna run perfectly. So if you have any kind of machine that only runs on choke, this is probably the way to fix it, would be taking the carburetor off and cleaning it. Now, Diving into it a little deeper, if that doesn't work for you, if you're one of the 1% that that does not work for you, it might need a valve adjustment or a throttle adjustment. But I promise you that just taking off the carburetor and cleaning it is gonna be what it needs to be done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this a lot more. I like doing this. this, this so far, this has been a fun thing. So if you guys have any questions, you can always email me. Email's on the screen right now or you can leave them in the comments. I might make a video from there, but every now and then I'm gonna troll the small engine repair subreddit, r slash small engine repair. And if I see a question that I think is gonna make a good video, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a video. Let me know if you guys like this format just by hitting that like button and maybe leaving a comment down below. So yeah, if you guys wanna check out a bunch of four strokes and two stroke repairs, they're right there. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you subscribe right here. Have a good day.